They finally made a tool that makes any video look like film. Check out what it can do. It was shot on filmic, but after grading with this tool, it looks so much more real and beautiful. The tool is called Dehancer. Before we get started with this video, I should mention that while Dehancer did sponsor this video, I will give my honest opinion about it anyways. So what exactly is Dehancer? Dehancer is a film emulation plugin compatible with several programs, including DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop. Dehancer has several color profiles based on real film, as well as several additional features like film grain and bloom. So a lot of you guys are going to be 3D artists, and you might be wondering, how exactly is this going to be useful to me? So even if you aren't going for an all-out film look, it's really great for general color grading. It can really push your renders that extra mile towards realism. And even if you're not doing it with renders, if you're just doing it with normal footage, it will also look amazing and can instantly get you some great cinematic color grades. I'll show you how to get some awesome color grades with it in a minute, but before then I should mention that Dehancer is a bit pricey. For a lifetime pro version for DaVinci Resolve, it is almost 500 US dollars, which can be a big deterrent especially for beginners. You can start with the free trial version, but if you do decide to purchase Dehancer, you can get 10% off with my promo code WARRIOR3D. In addition to making the price more affordable for you, it also directly supports me, so if you decide to buy Dehancer, I would really appreciate it if you use my promo code. Here's how to use Dehancer. Run the executable and it will automatically install it for DaVinci Resolve. Open DaVinci Resolve and load in your footage. This is a crappy render that I made a couple years ago of a car driving in the desert. Okay, so next you're going to want to go into the color page. Go into and open up this effects menu down here. All the way at the bottom you will find Dehancer. So drag it onto your color node. You can instantly see a really cool difference here. So I like to play with the exposure compensation and the temperature compensation. Um, for a film developer, I'll also check that so that I can get a bit of a contrast boost. Down that film, this is where the real magic happens. Um, the profiles are like color profiles made from real film that the people at Dehancer have analyzed and figured out what they look like. So personally, my favorite um, profile is Natura 1600. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, yes, so that's the one I'm going to be using for this video. I also want this to be a bit more green um, on the greenish side. I don't know why. So I'm going to set the tint um, slightly different. Okay, so film compression is also something I like to do. You can see it does make a difference and I'm just going to leave all the settings like that for now. Um, expand. I like to turn up the black point in some renders. Um, and there's also print, and it changes a few things, um, and and um, including contrast, color density. So this is really how it's going to look like on your film reel, assuming you are doing real um, film. I'm not an expert at film, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, for the color head, you're not going to need that too much. Um, Film grain is one of my favorites. Um, the amount is really important, um, and you have a lot of different um, focal lengths that you can use. Um, I'm just gonna keep something. I'm gonna keep the default 35 millimeter ISO 250 um, elation. You can see it does. It definitely makes. Um, it, it definitely makes a difference, um, especially for some images. Um, but I'm going to leave it disabled for now. Bloom is very noticeable. If you check mask mode, you can actually see what's going on. Apparently you can't right now, so I'm going to turn up the exposure just a little. Why isn't that working? Um, I'm sorry. Bloom enabled. Um, okay, it might be something else, but th this generally works. Oh yeah, you can, you can see it definitely. Um, Mask mode just isn't working, but look, when you check it, you can see some different things going on here. And film ja damage, um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely there, especially in 4K footage. Um, you can see, um, let's find, um, I don't that resonates, uh, 
like you'll see the little um, blackened pixels and streaks when you check that. Um, film breath, I believe. I'll, I will leave that there. Um, gate weave is a slightly different pattern. Um, Overscan is really cool because it's it's actually showing the border of the film reel and it has um, a few things you can see. So like scale, um, defocus. Um, so this is this is, I, I love this feature and you can see that these move um, as perfection imperfections um, in the real thing which is super cool and then finally vignette um, which I like to use sometimes okay so one other thing um, you can have you have clipping indication and false color false color is really useful the clipping indication means apparently there is no clipping in this which is great um, and then in output, you have total impact. So this is before and this is after. I mean, that's a profound difference. Okay, so after you have your basic thing down, you might want to tweak a bit more and play with your color profiles a bit more. You have so many to choose from. I mean, like, it's almost overwhelming. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it on how to use it. But the best way to learn about it is to play around and really experiment until you've figured out how to use all of them and what everything does. So I just gave you a brief overview, but learning about it is really great. So that being said, I think the Hanser is well worth the price. And if you can afford it, it is definitely worth it. So yeah, thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one. Have a good day.